Hello Haskellings! Well, I'd like to make a few improvements from yesterday, and the first is to swap the parameters of this goder function, because we never call it in that way. That means we can get rid of those backticks and the flip in this call. But I actually have an even better idea, and that is a dir to coord function, which takes a direction and gives you the offset value for that direction. The coordinate system remains unchanged from before, but we can now define goder in terms of dir to coord by just using a simple tuple addition. The neighbors can then just be calculated by mapping dir to coord over all of our coordinates. While we're here, we can actually also use min bound and max bound in this range to be a bit more general with this function. Let's move on to the combo breaker puzzle the last puzzle for 2020. We'll start in the usual way by importing our advent of code module and using the interact function. We're going to map read over the two integers that are coming in and pattern match those in the f function. Let's just check that we're reading in those numbers correctly. I'd like to start by trying to implement this looping function. It's going to take a loop size, and for now we'll hard code the subject number as 7. Let's use apply n to loop over our function, starting with the value 1. We first have to multiply by 7, and then take the remainder when dividing by our special number. Let's check that by running that against the example given. We should get this as output, which we do. Now we need to find the secret loop value for one of the given public keys. We can do that by iterating over this algorithm and then using zip to combine that with zero dot dot in order to get the number of loops associated with a given value. We can filter the values coming out of that stream by calling second and then testing to see if one of those values matches one of our given public keys. This will happily loop forever, so let's call head on this stream to get out the first tuple. We can then use pattern matching to identify the private loop size value and which of the public keys that we cracked. We then identify which of the public keys we didn't crack because we need to use that with the private loop size value of the one we did crack. The loop size value is quite high now, so it might be quite inefficient to use a naive approach, but fortunately I know of a module that exports a function that might be able to help. The function is called powermod int. Let's have a look at the documentation. Well, that doesn't help a lot, but I can tell you that it calculates a to the x mod n, which is exactly what we need. But it looks like we haven't installed that package, so let's do that now. And with the magic of video editing, we're now ready to see if that's worked. Let's check that value. And we've completed the Advent of Code 2020. I really hope you enjoyed watching this series as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much to Topaz and the whole Advent of Code team for making such great puzzles again this year. I do plan to make more Haskelling videos on this channel, so please do let me know in the comments what sort of videos you'd like to see. But first, there might still be an episode or two left in this series, so stay tuned and happy Haskelling.